okay now let's us continue let's we continue with um, uh, discussion about the overall uh, the, the whole coding uh, in in this uh, create simple deep learning from scratch.m okay again uh, we already discussed about the architecture which is that is the most important things that we have to know the rest is just does uh, uh, the complement where uh in, in in order for you to to show that whether your 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 architecture is is working or not okay we start with the first uh cell there or the first section okay we, we design the code okay the code have been designed this is the i can consider as one of the uh, modern way to design code where you can uh, write by section or by cell in 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 Python they call it cell in matlab they call it section Okay, you can write, you can, you can execute the code by section. So that's why that is the purpose of double percent over here, because double percent there will will show this is one section, this is another section. I think in in Python also they have a you need to boost to put double percent and and hashtag I think hashtag okay hash 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 symbol. I'm sorry, uh, double percent and hash symbol like this. Okay, that will will show uh, one cell or one section in Python, but in MATLAB it's double percent. So, if you want to run uh, this section only, then you just click the run, the run section. You if you click the run, then it will it will, it will run the whole uh, mm files there. So, in order for you to to know a, a step by step process, then that's why we need to run by section. Okay. So the first part. Okay, this one is just we calling the the data set okay the data set which is uh, which is this one we are using the digit digit data set so this is the, the directory so you don't have to write the long directory like this because now uh, because because the, this one is in in your current directory here so you just can write the name but i i am uh, i always practice to write the whole directory like this because uh, let's say this data set is not belong to this current directory it might be uh, in, in different location inside your hard disk so then you need to write the whole uh, directories that refer to this okay and, and for classifications uh, again for classification in order for you to if you can see that uh, to to prepare the data to classificate for classification then you need to put all the image inside this folder if I, if I double click this folder okay you can see that um, this is the classes from 0 to 9 so each classes here you need to give the name of the folder which is similar to the name of the classes so if I double click 0 there you can see that inside inside the 0 folder you have uh, a lot of pictures of a lot of image that represent the handwritten of 0 okay so in order for you to do classification that in, in MATLAB then you need to prepare that kind of arra arrangement meaning that you need to put it inside one folder and then you need to uh, you need to classify all the image into one classes and then make it as one folder and the folder name must be similar to the class class name okay so so that is how we need to arrange because that is how later you will see that 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 is the 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 standard arrangement for MATLAB. Later, uh, you will see that uh, we need to use uh, that arrangement to to make uh, the MATLAB identify uh, which image does that uh, what what image that which classes does that image belong. So that's why you need to separate into classes and make it a, a subfolder where the that subfolder name is same as your class name. Okay, so that's why you need to to have uh, this kind of arrangement. Okay, from zero to nine. Okay, seems like your assignment because we have uh, 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 we have uh, face mask and non face mask. So that's why we have two subfolder uh, face mask and non face mask, and make your image. Uh, put your image inside that folder okay according to the 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 class there okay so the first cell is just to call that uh, 
to to just to 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 uh, wait ah huh? okay the purpose of this one we want to load the data set meaning that I save my directory inside this digit data part digit data set parts and then I'm using this uh, function or this function or this uh, uh, the, this, the, the, the built in function in MATLAB called image data store ok uh, image data store we have another one which is called data store and this is image data store data store is you want to if you want to manage the data which is non image data and, and if you want if you have a data set or data which is an image then you need to use an image data store ok so uh, so why why a MATLAB have introduced to you with this image data store or data store? Okay, before before we have uh, an era before we don't have era of big data and so on. Uh, most of the data have been uh, stored or have been uh, saved in 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 one matrix, okay, in one variable matrix. Because but uh, because of the the era of big data, because the data is too big, then it is not practical to store the data inside single metric or single variable so that's why uh, because uh, your the, the metrics or the metrics that can be hold by one variables in 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 matlab have a limitation in terms of size so and 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 another reason is because it will make your program become more and more slow because you are you need a memory or ram which is bigger to hold the big data so that's why MATLAB have adjust the, the, the way of managing the data by introduced with some some uh, properties or some features like data store and image data store where actually uh, image data store okay when this is actually you want to create one variables the name of variable is IMDS and that IMDS the, the type of this IMDS uh, the, the variable type of this IMDS is called image data store okay image data store is actually is a type of variable okay remember if you talk about the primitive type of variable is like in integer string uh, what else float uh, logic that is a primitive type uh, of variable so image data store is a is a non primitive and is a customized when design for MATLAB only meaning that MATLAB use have their own library and we can see it, uh, normally MATLAB does not call it library it's called it's a toolbox where actually there's a one uh, variable type called image data store if you want to create a variable with the type of image data store then you need to do this okay this one you is just a name of variable you can name other 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 name as well but because we need to create this as a meaningful information so that's why a meaningful name so that's why we use the word IMDS that refer to variables that the, the, the type of this variable is image data store which is will hold the which we represent or hold the information about the data set inside this digit data set okay so just this is how you want to create the image IMDS where image IMDS will hold all information about digit data set and then uh, this is the directory okay directory of this one and then you if you can see the setting here okay we j we in the setting we also we also include that include subfolder true okay you must include the subfolder inside this this folder which is 0 to 9 and then please make the label source as a folder name meaning that once you execute this one IMDS will on will store two things. One is the directory of the 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 the, or the location of the each image inside this folder, and each each directory will label as the the their, their classes and the classes is according to the fo subfolder name. That's why we need to set a subfolder label source equal to folder name. Means that it will follow the 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 classes name will follow the subfolder name. Okay, just just uh, let 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 us uh, let we this the, we try to uh, execute this. You will see. Okay, now we try to execute this section only. Run section. Okay, 
uh, as you can see that this is the variables okay we call that the variable name is imds as you can see the the class name there is image data store okay that is the class name okay again if you just type x equal to zero for example that is the variable name is x and then the class name is double okay uh, because this is one value you don't see the double let's me make let, let's make example x equal to zeros of uh, 100 okay you can see that uh, if you okay now you have x where the, the variable name is uh, x and the type is double but this one the variable name is imds the type is image data store so it's a special uh, non primitive variable type that can that uh, for the, the the purpose of this is to hold that big data that related to image so if i double click this one okay this is the imds as you can see uh, is, uh, this is why I call it a non-primitive uh, data type because if you talk about primitive data type like integer, uh, string or uh, float, uh, that type of variables only can store single uh, single value or single numbers. Okay, uh, means that if you talk about integers x equal to 5. So you, you can just uh, you you can just save one variables, uh, one variables for that single variables. But when we talk about non-primitive data set, okay, you can see that one variable IMDS actually inside this IMDS have their their member variables. This this is called as a member variables. Okay, I I, I use the word that member variables because if you learn C programming or C++ they use that term, that term but in MATLAB they use as a properties property of that actually uh, uh, properties is also same uh, as member variables if you talk about C++ okay so IMDS have a member variables 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 if you can see this is the one that save the directory of each image location inside this digit data set if you double click okay you can see that this is a directory so g this slash something something so we have how many that how many is there we have up to 10,000 data set okay this is because this uh, dg data set uh, each classes have 1,000 image so you have uh, 10 classes so that's why we have 10,000 image location there so the one that save the, the the location of image is this one and then uh, let's go to label okay as, as, you, as you can see the label here is labeled according to this this directories okay if if there is number one the class is zero directory number two image the class is zero so you it, it will label according to that you have from 0 1 2 3 up until 9 okay so then that that is where that's why i ask you to arrange in 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 that arrangement because in terms of uh, uh, if you talk about the folder because once you use the image data store it will automatically label for you so you don't have to waste your time you know to make a table we have a directory a set of directory or location of an image and then you have to label one by one by using excel and so on because image data store will do that for you so you do you just execute image data store then the image data store label for you that's why you need to arrange and make sure that your image which is belong to the same classes under the same folder and the folder the, the that subfolder name must must the, the name must similar with the name of the classes okay so um okay later we will discuss about the imds again so now we execute the second section there okay the second section is nothing is just for display of uh, some of the image that is inside this data digit uh, digit data set folder i j we just put a random number of 20 image yep we just calling uh, some random number of 20 image 
for uh, 20 image from this one and then we just do some looping to display this 20 image inside the same uh, inside the same window so that's why using a subplot there as you can see that in order for you to display each image inside this image imds you can just write i am show imds dot file why why dot file because again you see you can see imds the directory is safe in this member variable called files files so that's why you need to put imds dot files and then you must give the index that you want if you give the index one then you will it will give you this directory you give you give the index there 10 then you give you get this this directory location okay of your image so let me extend here to show you actually it's an image okay so you can see that it's an image okay so this one is just uh, we, we just randomly collect 20 from this digit data set folder and try to display so if I execute this section you just see the sample of image inside this digit data set okay so this is the the what the IMS should do okay that's why we need to repeat one twenty time because it will show this one one first iteration one second iteration two three four five up until twenty so just display just to showing the sample image inside that one okay this is even if you don't run this code it's not important at all it's just for display purpose okay the the, the important is that you need to the, this the first section where you need to download your upload your 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 or assigned your data set with this imds okay for easy for, for 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 you to easy to manage your data and then the third section again this one is also not so important just want to show you the description of uh, data inside this imds or inside this digit data set if you run this section it will display at this common window okay you can see that just showing you that we have uh, 10 classes from 0 1 2 up until 9 and each classes you have 1000 image so this the purpose of this one is you want to count how or to give you information about your data set okay now we go to the next section uh, this is also not so important this one is just give you another way to display image inside this one okay again like I said uh, you can also use this this in this way I may show and you give you the file another way you can do is that by using this approach where you I am read first I am DS and then you give the index number eight means that this one okay even for this approach you can see that the difference between this one and this one even this one you don't mention imds.file because this read image is a customized version that know that when you give your imds it will search at the file okay even you don't mention file actually it search at the file and the index number eight it will read the image and then this one is to show the size this one is one you, you want to show the image number eight okay if i run this one then you can see the size there 28 times 28 here because of this uh, instruction and then this is the image you you using i am show to show which is the the image for index number eight inside this imds okay so okay this one is the most important one as you can see because the image is only single data set so that's why you need to split it into uh, actually it's not two it should be three but because this is the MATLAB example uh, later we, we discuss it later because I also not agree when MATLAB try to separate this data into only e training image and validation image is it is should be actually three one is training image the other one is validation image the other one is testing image okay because uh, the validation and training will, will will be used for training purpose and the testing uh, the test image is will be used for the testing purpose but let's split let, let's uh, pro proceed with this first okay as you can see uh, you can use this function called split each label to split your data set into 
training and validation okay this is just the name you can name whatever you want okay just remember that this function if you use this function the input is imds and then you can set the number of training if you select the number of training is uh, any numbers and the, the remaining numbers you will become the uh, validation data set the one that you select here will become a training data so this one is a number of sample per classes so you remember that our sample our number of sample per classes is 1000 so that's why 750 will be used for training data while your uh the, the remaining the remaining is will be used for for validation data so what is the remaining uh remaining data that left it should be 250 so 250 will be used for validation data and remember it's not 250 you must time 10 because of the 10 classes so 750 time 10 so the total of data uh, training data set is 7500 sample why the validation is 150 time 10 classes it should be 1500 class uh, 1500 sample okay so it this one is just show you it it will behave it will select it will randomly selected among this uh, image inside this data set okay so this one you need to execute that so let's execute of course uh, if you after you execute nothing happened because you can see that uh, you already separate your imds into these two okay as you can see only the variable names different but this the, the the type is the same because it's just a, sp a split from here from here you split into two this one is uh, 7500 and this one is uh, one, uh, one, uh, two, uh, 2500 I'm sorry 2500 so you can check it by double click there and then you click the files so you can see the total is 7500 okay okay then okay this is your architectures we already discussed this one let's execute this one Okay, this one is just a building architecture. We don't do any training yet. Okay, we just set up some. Uh, we just do manage our data set, data set first, and then we we design or we define our architecture here. Okay, we execute this one. So execute execute this section. So the, the, we call it as a layers. So you will get one var one variable circle layers. Okay, this is the CNN architecture that you define here. Okay, once you finish that, okay, again this this one is not important for you to execute. But if you execute, you just want to sh display the layers or to check the layer. You can use this one. It's like it's like I am I. The purpose is like I am show in image. Okay, image. If you want to display the image, you use I am show. If you want to show the architecture of your your designer architecture, you can use analyze network. Okay, it's a per, for display purpose only. So you can run this section, see what happen. Okay, so this is uh, this is the the network analyzer that uh, analyze network function that once you apply that uh, analyze network, then it will display the architectures. Uh, the designer architecture yet do you define in the previous section okay okay you can check there this one is the for the purpose of check because if there's a if there's a some weird weird things in the architecture it will give you uh, some warning or errors there meaning that there's an error in your in your architecture arrangement so um, so if there's no zero warning and zero error then you don't have to worry about it okay you just can check the, the architecture the one by one which is this one is a conversation number one batch normalization relu and then go up into your the last one okay it also give you some uh, the, the involved weak and bias there okay so next section okay this one is still not training yet but this one is the purpose for the purpose of uh, give some setting on your training 
mechanism okay you need to set the option so option is equal your equal to training option you need to set a training option in this uh, in this uh, example we are using a societic gradient descent okay even the name is a societic gradient descent I, I think in in the previous uh, in the earlier lecture we discussed about societic gradient descent again we highlight actually is is actually related to update uh, by using the um, uh, when we talk about this uh, societic gradient descent is 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 means that you the w will update it for each and every samples meaning each and every sample when you find and when you uh, execute the uh, forward pass and backward pass and then you update the w okay is different from from the uh, batch uh, gradient descent where you need to uh, get the mini the, the mean error of the whole samples then that mean error will be used as the updater so it means that you will update one approach i'm sorry one uh, Yes, one one you will you will update uh, after you complete a full cycle or one approach per per uh, one approach per updater. But if you talk about uh, societic gradient descent, one approach you will update uh, with how many number of sample that you have. Let's say you have ten thousand sample means that one approach you will update one thousand uh, ten thousand times. So, but. Uh, I just want to highlight here is that in this function is actually is not societic gradient descent, okay? Even the they just label it as societic gradient descent. Yes, it's a societic gradient descent. It's more to mini batch gradient descent, okay? In MATLAB, this function SGDM is referred to mini batch mini batch gradient descent, which is in between societic gradient descent and batch gradient descent because as you can see that okay uh, we, we we don't uh, uh, okay you because we don't mention the the mini batch size there actually in that inside this component you can set your mini batch size but if you don't set the mini batch size in your option by default matlab will use a mini batch size equal to 1 to 8 meaning that it will from the training data say how many training samples inside our training data currently it should be 7500 so 7500 we divided into a uh, small small batch where the batch size is 1 to 8 and then it will use the societic gradient descent to update the w okay it's not a is you using the mini batch gradient descent to update the W is not a societic gradient descent. So, in other words, even you see SGDM here, which is referred to societic gradient descent. But in MATLAB, what is the meaning by SGDM? Is actually a mini batch. So, like I mentioned before in in the previous lecture, uh, mini batch gradient descent is very very common in in uh, which have been which will be used in 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 CNN. Okay, when you do the training option if you select the SGDM and you set even you without setting the mini batch size by default it's equal to 1 to 8 is actually a mini batch gradient descent it's not societic gradient descent anymore because if if you want to let's say you want to apply a societic gradient descent then you need to set this one equal to 1 okay but okay then you put here that is called societic gradient descent but because you are already set the mini batch size which 1 to 8 by default because you don't mention here and by default me MATLAB will assume mini batch size equals to 1 to 8 it become a mini batch gradient descent okay so um, I think you can also convert this into batch gradient descent if you put this one the size is similar to the size of your your sample training size to 7500 so it become a batch gradient descent. So means that, but but normally we we'll, they will use a mini batch gradient descent. Okay. So the rest is yeah. This is a this is a learning rate, initial learning rate, and then this one is just for di display the progress of the training, and then this one is the uh, frequency of how how much, uh, how many. 
uh, iteration uh, how many iteration uh, uh, how many iteration you how, how frequent you you validate your data so means that if you set at 30 means that after 30 iteration it will validate the the the, the performance so meaning that after 30 then after then we go next during during the progress of training and af, until 60 iteration it will again uh, check the validation uh, validation loss or validation accuracy so so that's how we they, they check before before the system stop if the 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 overfitting happen so means that uh, iteration number one you don't check iteration number two you don't check up until iteration number three you check one and then iteration number 60 you check another one so we don't check every time to 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 to, to apply that stopping criteria when when the uh, uh, to make sure that to or to avoid the the overfitting okay so that is meaning by this one and as you can see here validation data is your validation data here so this is uh, your validation data which is imds validation which is this one so you 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 already declare my validation data is this one okay this is option so let me execute this one Okay, nothing happened because just just a setting okay this is the one that you this is single line is for the purpose of to executing the training uh, operation so train the network and then the, the input is this is the training data this is your architecture and this is the option that you you declare here so you can see that the question is where actually the 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 validation data because validation data you do declare in this argument so so where is where is actually validation data because this is training data this is the your architectures your layer C and N architectures so this is training option so where actually the validation data inside this process the answer is it's include in this option because in the option you already mentioned that validation data is equal to my uh, our IMDS validation with this one so and it will you will check uh, the valid you will do the validation for each 330 iteration okay now let's we execute this one okay it will take you some time to execute this one 